bye. Good evening, everybody. My name is Isaiah. I'm a landlord in uh, Hampton Roads. Uh, don't go live too often, but I want to address a serious issue about the uh, COVID-19 Virginia rent relief uh, by the government. So last year, the rent relief went to a uh, federal program, and ever since, it's been a kind of a disaster. It's a bunch of landlords in the Hampton Roads area that have yet to receive their rent relief. But we're still responsible for bills, mortgages. I, myself, have been calling since like February. Every week, we get different timelines, 10 to 20 days, 30 days. Um, I actually have some tenants that I haven't received any uh, rent relief from since September. And actually one in June. Um, so I'm kind of paying for these families to live. The program was established to help the renters and the landlords. Um, government would pay the renters rent and the landlords didn't have to evict them. Now they also made a sign an agreement that we cannot evict these tenants. If we do evict them, we're subject to be countersued for the full amount of what we receive. So there's a lot of landlords around here at a a rock and a hard place. Um, we still got bills. We still got mortgages on, on these properties, some of them in utilities. Um, I, myself, they owe me over $50,000. So I want to address this issue. If anybody else is having this issue, you can reach out. I want to start a petition to kind of get the government to be aware of the situation and what they're putting us in. We got money to send overseas to do this and that. We should have money to be able to provide the landlords that agreed to not evict tenants during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and that's kind of mostly what I got to say. And I'm going to turn it over to Jafar here. Um, what's going on, y'all? Um, like I said, uh, this is Mr. Isaiah. I uh, said he does a lot for the community. And um, like I said, right now it's just a, like I said, it's just a rock and a hard place. Um, and like I said, he has the paperwork. He's done everything he's supposed to do. Uh, the pandemic, you know, affected a lot of people, but um, the small businesses were affected. You know, he's been doing everything he can to stay afloat um, in his endeavors. And and it's now it's like the business owners are stuck. It's like the government can stroke a check whenever they want for all this stuff, but um, you know, small business owners don't have that luxury. They don't have a limitless um, pool to pull from uh, a relief. I said he has an email to read. Yeah. So back in December, I sent them a email asking for an update on certain tenants. I said, please give me an update. I haven't received uh, rent from these tenants since September 2021. Please advise ASAP. I was told, uh, quote, as you already know, all your applications have been approved and are away payment. If you like, you can proceed with the process and withdraw your applications if you like. And that's from Ms. Jasmine Jackson at the RRP response team. And what will happen if you withdrew your applications? You don't get nothing. So all the if somebody was staying in your property rent free if you withdraw it. You get no no more money further. So And this is your own property. Correct. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But we're sending Money, all these other places. So again, y'all are gonna form a petition. Um, if you're a business owner in the in the seven five seven of Virginia, or we have Virginia because I'm saying we can go to our local governor, tap in, um, inbox us. Um, we'll have information. Like I said, we should be able to get the petition up soon. But if there's any other business owners that are going through um, different stripes, just trying to, you know, get or, or do what the government promised, and you know, when the pandemic was at its peak, um, you know, where there was a lot going on, but you know, now that the dust is settling. It's showing that there's a whole lot more going on than we thought. So, I mean, the government being able to send over trillions over for war, uh, we need to make sure that um, we're taken care of at home, you know, with the pandemic and, and making sure that these small businesses can continue to run. So, um, until then, unless Mr. Van has anything to say, um, if y'all could please share this out. And if I say if you're a business owner going through something similar, um, let us know.